before the sun comes up. You think you are in a lockdown. Are you in a lockdown? We are too. At least we know how it ends. It must end before the sun comes up. Are you wearing a mask? We are waiting that we'll be forced to wear a mask so that you don't see our faces, so that you don't see who you are killing. Not really looking forward to it. You are looking out for loved ones. We are looking for our lawyer. My trial took place behind closed doors. It's called in-camera trial. They don't want you to know what I didn't do. They don't want you to know what they did. Prisoner 2 Prisoner who did Something. I did something. And they sentenced me to death. The judge said this woman will hang. Year after year. I stayed up till dawn. Because I'd heard they hang you before the sun comes up. They kept me away from other prisoners for eight years because what I did was so bad that any of the prisoners could have killed me. In public, those work. Look at the kingdom. No murders, no theft. When people go to pray, they leave their shops open. It works. If there's no crime, why do they have hangings? They don't have hangings. You know what they have. Chop. Chop. After every Friday prayers, a single blow of a sword Thousands watch. But if there's no crime, why do they have chop chop? So that they can stop killings, thefts. But we are not as pure hearted as they are. So hangings will do for now. Potholes on the roads. Hang them. Your car won't work. Hang someone. 
करप्शन फांसी दो चाइल्ड मोलेस्टर्स हैंग देम देन डिसमेंबर देम डिसॉल्व देयर बॉडी पार्ट्स इन एसिड फ्लड्स हैंग देम वुमेन स्मोकिंग हैंग देम योर सन इज बैड एट केमिस्ट्री हैंगिंग नो प्रोबेबली ट्यूशंस एंड इफ ही स्टिल डज बैडली हैंग द ट्यूटर फांसी दो लटका दो गोली मारो सालों को लटका दो दिस एट दे हैड नो ऑप्शन बट टू हैंग मी इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट एन एक्ट ऑफ मर्सी बिकॉज इफ दे लेट मी गो फ्री द पब्लिक वुड लिंच मी my own neighbors my childhood friends would kill me with their own hands an orderly death sentence a hanging before dawn a picture in the newspaper with my slightly elongated neck would be the only solution to this national crisis i was scared to ask about my crime because that seemed like another crime I was told in vague terms round about ways that one afternoon while working in the fields daily wage 250 rupees a day I was disrespectful I told my vakil that I was respectful I was respectful I didn't have the time to be disrespectful we were working in the fields i asked for water i didn't get any i did say that they were stingy people in my heart i still believe that people who don't share their water with you while earning the same 250 rupees a day salary are stingy people i don't say it loud anymore My youngest was 2 year old then. He's 10 now and has lived in hiding. Because if they find out he's my son, they might lynch him too. There was a suggestion that when I'm hanged, he should be made to watch. That should teach him some respect. then there was hope it's lethal it's worse than staying up all night so that you're not asleep when they hang you before dawn a very powerful man came to see me he was wearing a suit he got a picture taken with me and said with confidence oh no they can't hang you i am with you you can see in that picture that i am very respectful towards him i could barely look at him they don't really want to hang you he whispered in my ear but they are scared of people who want to see you hanged people don't know me i said why would they want to hang me why can't you tell them what i did or what i didn't do i don't want to know what you did that will put my life in danger he said so we'll stick to the story that you didn't do anything and even if you did it law says it can't be repeated we need to change the law i wanted to ask him aren't you scared getting a picture taken with me people you say want me to hang will see it what will they think i was too respectful to ask
And then people did see that picture and put his life in danger by asking, why should we not hang you along with her? Why shouldn't we hang you for saying that don't hang this poor woman? Why shouldn't we hang you for getting your picture taken with that woman who is disrespectful? I wish I had asked him because then somebody did kill that man who got his picture taken with me. If you say don't hang her, we'll shoot you. I was in my cell and that was the scariest night of my life. You're waiting to be hanged any day and now you're scared that surely if a very powerful man, a man who moves around in a convoy of armored cars, a man who has guards around him all the time, that man can be killed for getting a picture taken with me. Imagine what they could do to me in this very cell where I wait to be hanged. And then everybody said, if he hadn't said that don't hang her, he would be alive. If they had hanged her in time, not made us wait for such a long time, then he would be alive. But the man was dead. And then people said, that man who killed that man who didn't want me hanged should be hanged. Even people who didn't want me hanged were sure that this killer of the person who didn't want me hanged should be hanged. Then they thought they can solve this whole problem by having another hanging. And they did hang him before the sun came up one day. Nobody asked me. I might have said, please don't hang him. Please don't hang anyone. But that might have been disrespectful. I was misunderstood once. Never again. Nay. Kabhi nay.